Hey guys, JCC2224 here taking a look at the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Punisher. This guy is pretty freaking cool and I'm very, very happy that I found it. Yes, I found it at Walgreens. I haven't heard anyone else finding it at Walgreens yet. I may be one of the first. But yeah, I was very, very happy to see this guy at Walgreens. I just thought I'd randomly pop in after getting myself a Whopper from Burger King. <clears throat> Delicious Whopper, by the way. And yeah, I'm very impressed with this guy. It does have some issues. Uh, I want to go over three categories. The good, the bad, and the nitpicks. Yes, there's there's a couple nitpicks I have, but it's it's not really that bad, but there are some actual bad things about this figure that I want to talk about. Hopefully it's just on my copy, but yes, they are kind of disappointing. So, first off, let's take a look at... Ooh, the good! So, what's good on this guy? So, yeah, a lot's good on this guy, actually. Um, The paint on some aspects is very, very good. Taking a look at the torso here, you can see that... The belt is very, very nicely painted with the skulls, and I really, really appreciate that they continued the skull paint behind the belt and behind those clips. Looks very, very nice. The paint on the belt looks very nice. I believe it has a really nice wash on it. Uh, real nice gold on that. Uh, those little bullets there. I really, really like that. I believe the grenades are also painted. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look. I think they are. I think they're painted a different color. If not, oh well. Uh, I'm kind of colorblind, if you didn't know. Yes, I'm sort of... I can't differentiate between colors that well. But yeah, the colors are pretty much standard black and white on this guy. So it's easy for me to differentiate. That's good. Another good thing about him is, of course, the articulation. It's a freaking Marvel legend. What would you expect? Here's the articulation sped up real fast because you all know about it. Whoa, this thing really moves. So, yep, it's Marvel Legend. It moves a lot. That's real good. I like that. So, another thing that's really, really good about this guy is the majority of his accessories. Uh, he comes with this head sculpt out of the box. And this head sculpt is, I believe, based off of a comic cover. Um, I don't really read comics too, too much. Um, I, I have not read a comic with Punisher in it. Kill me, guys, kill me. I just really, really like the character design and the character idea. And I especially, especially liked him a lot more after the Netflix show. So, hey, you know, why not? Oh, you don't read comics. Why are you buying Marvel Legends? You can't truly appreciate the figure. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What, what's your problem? It's time to stop. Thanks, dude. So, yep, this is uh, it's pretty good. I like this. I like this head sculpt. I like the white bandana. It's kind of Rambo-esque, and it looks real nice. The the expression is something else I'm a huge, huge fan of. It's very unique to Marvel Legends, and it's just so clearly Frank Castle. It's, it's someone else. Because a lot of Marvel Legends sculpts, in my opinion, just feel like the same dude in different suits. Especially with the Bucky Cap buck and all that. This guy is not Bucky Cap. This guy is the Captain America buck that we saw from the Wolf Cap and a ton of other figures. I think it was on Grim Reaper first, if I recall. So yeah, it's a pretty good body. It's actually my very first time owning that body. So yeah, I'm happy with it. He does come with another head, though, and I'm actually more happier with this head because this is his classic head, more uh, akin to what Punisher usually is portrayed as. And yeah, once again, nice, different expression. Uh, and one thing I like, too, you can still tell that it's the same person. But this one's a little uh, not as clean cut, and it has a little little bang there. And while that one has some bang, it's it's on the different side. Looking at this head sculpt a little more closely, it looks it looks great. I like it. It's pretty good. I'd give it a 2 out of 10, probably. I like it. It's just a little high on the neck, but hey, it's pretty good. So talking about the good accessories he comes with, he has this uh, machine gun. I believe it's a machine gun. It's real nice. Nice carry handle there. I wish this uh, these this bipod flipped out, but oh well, what can you do? Uh, yeah, it looks real nice, nicely molded. I kind of wish it had a, a peg on it, too, so you can peg it on the back. But yeah, he holds it real well, too. I'm a huge, huge fan of how he looks with this gun. Another accessory he comes with, which it's kind of disappointing in some ways, but we'll get to that in the bad. It is... Get out of there. It is this, the, uh, the RPG, and it looks real nice. It doesn't have a missile, though. I don't know why it doesn't. So yeah, I'm... 
probably just gonna have this on his back without the missile and pretty much never display him with it because it doesn't have the missile and it wouldn't make sense if he was holding it without a missile anyway so yeah uh yeah, he holds it nice though if you're if you're wondering about that he does hold it pretty nice i'd, I'd give that like a three out of ten maybe and also uh, this one this one has a peg look at that whoa Yep, it does peg on his back, and this is probably how I'm going to have him displayed. That looks really, really cool. Huge, huge fan of how that RPG looks on the back. So, now that we have talked about the good, let us talk about the bad. So what's bad on this guy? Well, the paint, in some ways. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed on the torso here, but that's really messy. That is really, really messy. I'm hoping this is just on my copy, but yeah, that's really, really messy. And I don't know what Hasbro was doing there. It's really bad. Uh, I probably should have waited to see another one and got it then. But, hey, I wanted this figure real bad, so I just picked it up. And, yeah, the, the paint's not too bad, though. It's not, like, figure ruining. But, yeah, that's really, really bothersome. I'm not a fan of that at all. Another thing that's bad, once again, no missile for the RPG. Really, really wish he had it. And this. This final accessory. What is this? Why is it white? Oh, it's because the Punisher is black and white. You get it? So he can have a white gun. No gun is white, man. What is this? Ugh. Man, this is stupid. I kind of wish the, uh, the stock would flip out, because so, I think that'd look a little better. I believe this gun also comes with Deadpool in, in uh, like a gray-silver. I don't have Deadpool yet. I actually went to Walgreens hoping to see him. I did not. I saw him, though. Yeah, it's really bad. I don't know how well he holds it. I think he holds it pretty well. Uh, no trigger fingers either. That's also a kind of bad thing, but it's not that bad. But yeah, he should have had trigger fingers, honestly. Look at that. He, sh he should have had trigger fingers, man. I might actually cut the index finger and just make it a little trigger finger. I don't know. I probably won't. So, that's the bad. Now let's talk about the nitpicks. So, nitpicks. Um, nothing too major. It's just... This figure kind of feels samey samey to me. Um, the the buck itself, it's nothing special. Kind of feels like a uh, a watered down Hyperion mold to me. It doesn't feel as 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 slick as the Bucky mold, but it's it's pretty much feel like especially the legs. If you like Hyperion to me, how they move and all that. Also, the plastic on this guy feels kind of weird. I don't know. Like it's it's like softer in a way like it's not like soft soft it's still marvel Legends soft but it just feels odd it kind of has like this smoothness and this roughness to it at the same time like you can see all this is just the molded black plastic and it feels weird <laughs> that is such a nitpick that's why it's a nitpick and these nitpicks really don't m bother the figure at all it's still just fine but it's just uh, not a little nitpick also, another thing I don't like is that you can't remove this harness without probably really, really doing some major stuff. Because I could not see a clip. I'm, I'm looking for like some sort of clip to detach it. Because I may not want him with the harness all the time. Because I, I think he looks kind of cool, just as classic as he can be. But I'm not seeing any way to remove it. So I'm thinking you'd probably have to pop off the head and like really, really work this thing out of it. It would be such a hassle. Um, maybe it wouldn't be such a hassle. Maybe you could just, like, move the arms up and you pop the... Ooh, maybe this could work. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna see about this. Crisis averted, guys. Nitpick canceled. Yes, you can remove the vest if you want. And honestly, without the vest, yeah. I like that look. It's more classic Punisher to me. It's straight up, boom, there's the Punisher. I, I like it. I, I actually really, really dig in, uh, am digging this look. I'm, I'm going to display him with this, though, because I still think it looks cool. I'm not saying I don't like it, but I just wanted to have the option. And I do have the option. That's really, really cool. So let us compare him with his new Netflix arch nemesis, that being the, I believe, Hobgoblin Wave Daredevil. I don't have the Walgreens Daredevil because I'm just not a fan of those colors. But yeah, comparing these two, I'd say I'm very, very impressed with the sizing difference. I like the Punisher's bigger. I like this new buck, but it feels a little samey, samey to the Hyperion. But it's 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 what I wanted. I wanted a midway between Bucky and Hyperion, and they gave it to us, and I'm happy about it. So yeah, overall, this Punisher is a fantastic figure. I would recommend getting it. I honestly would. It's it's worth getting. And I was thinking about getting a Toy Biz Punisher and just skipping on this guy, but 
now that I have this guy, I don't regret it, because I love the accessories, well, all of them but one, and yeah, I, I highly, highly recommend this guy. Uh, he is showing up at Walgreens now, I found him myself at Walgreens, I did not order him online, I did not overpay, I spent $21, including tax on him, and I am very, very pleased. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, that has been my review of the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Punisher. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and do the subscribe. Check out my Facebook page. You have a chance. Have a good day, guys. And as always, may the force be with you. Bye. Bye. You're just one bad day away from being me. <coughs>